The Ukrainian general staff reported that the Ukrainian defense forces continued offensive operations in the area south of Bakhmut and inflicted significant losses on Russian forces in terms of manpower and equipment. The governor of Russia's Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said in a statement that three settlements in the region were left without electricity as a result of cross-border shelling by Ukrainian armed forces. According to a statement from the British Ministry of Defense, the UK, which has supplied more than 300,000 artillery shells to Ukraine, has committed to delivering tens of thousands more this year. In a statement made by the Russian Defense Ministry, it was stated that an Su-34 fighter jet crashed in the Voronezh region during a planned training flight around 10 p.m. local time, and the crew of two escaped unhurt with the seat ejection system. The Russian embassy in Seoul denied reports that military cooperation was discussed at last week's bilateral summit between Moscow and Pyongyang. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said, Ukraine's peace formula is going global. It includes solutions and steps to stop all forms of armaments that Russia uses against Ukraine and other countries, which can be used by other aggressor countries. In his speech to the UN General Assembly, US President Joe Biden called on the international community to stand united against Russian aggression in Ukraine. What do you think about the developments? We are waiting for your opinions.